Charlotte, N. C. A. P. Charlotte F. C. made a record-breaking home debut Saturday night, setting a Major League Soccer attendance mark of 74, 479 in a 1-0 loss to the LA Galaxy. Fans dressed in the team's light, blue colors and wearing FC Charlotte scarves celebrated the team's first game at Bank of America Stadium, the home of the NFL's Carolina Panthers since 1996. There were 69, 522 there on September 1, 1996, to watch Carolina's first regular season game, a 29-6 win over Atlanta. This long, anticipated MLS game shattered that mark. Things didn't go as well on the field for Charlotte FC, who fell as Galaxy substitute midfielder Efren Alvarez struck a hard shot from outside the box into the upper right corner in the 77th minute. Charlotte FC, 0-2-0, had a chance to tie in the final minute of stoppage time, but Daniel Rios header close to the goal off a cross from Alan Franco was stopped by LA Galaxy's Jonathan Bond. The Galaxy had won both their games to start the season. Still, the loss didn't dampen the crowd's enthusiasm as they stood and cheered at the end, much the way they did at the start. Welcome to the largest party Charlotte has known, Charlotte FC and Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper said to the crowd moments before kickoff. MLS Commissioner Dan Garber called it a historic night for the league. He said the crowd showed Therese no limit to where our league can go. LA Galaxy coach Greg Benny had long thought North Carolina was hotbed for soccer and that showed in this contest. It's no surprise there was a fan base so ready and so eager to show support, Vanny said. Our job was to come here and be the spoilers of the whole thing so I'm happy for that. Charlotte FC goalie Christian Kalina said in recent years he had played games in front of 500 people in Bulgaria last year and as many as 14, 000 in his native Croatia during his career. To see, five times that, the support from our fans is unbelievable. People lined up at the entrances about four hours before the match kicked off, eager to cheer for their hometown MLS club. Even the signature Panthers statues outside the stadium had Charlotte FC scarves draped around their necks for the occasion. We've waited for this for a while, said Lenny Romero, a Charlotte fan who wore a curly wig of Charlotte FC blue. People in Charlotte gear pack parking lots around the stadium that usually only get filled for Panthers football. Food carts and souvenir stands were everywhere with some fans even pulling out their cornhole boards for football-style tailgates.